The woman, who Jay-Z and Beyonce hired to be their children's nanny, is very likely to be legally bound to keep a low profile as she looks after probably less Blue Ivy at this point and more Rumi and Sir. And she's doing a great job at that because I couldn't even find her name online. I searched. So while she'd rather not be seen on camera, in some circumstances, she's ready to get in front of the lens. When Beyonce was performing Rather Die Young during her Renaissance concert in Toronto, a concert goer decided that they would rather film Jay-Z and his mom, who were in a crowd near them. Boy, okay. Well, the nanny saw the way the phone was pointed and leaned right into the frame and just stared. And stared. And kept staring. And stared a little bit longer. A little more staring. And then when the person took another shot at capturing a moment between mother and son, it looks like the nanny says stop right at the beginning of the clip, but then she says hi. Yeah, I'm still here. What I found noteworthy about this is that it's another example of the people in Beyonce and Jay-Z's circle not just being um, employees. They clearly care. The nanny didn't have to do that. The nanny didn't have to lean into the frame. She wasn't obligated to. Instead of leaning into the frame, she could have just thought, that's not part of my job description. I'm not Jay-Z's publicist. Like, I'm just here to watch the kids. But no, she cares enough to protect some of Jay-Z and his mom's privacy. It's the same thing I said a few weeks ago when Lay Twin stopped Beyonce's wardrobe malfunction in Hamburg. He didn't have to do that. If Beyonce treated him like beat behind the scenes and he just felt like an employee, he would have looked over and seen what was about to happen and thought, what do I care? That's not my job to like cover that up. And it's not like after the fact, Beyonce could have said, why did you do something? Because he could have claimed ignorance and just said, I didn't see it. But no, he went above the call of duty and grabbed her and took care of the situation. She had bodyguard Julius, who has gained a following as he protects Beyonce at every public event. Oh my God. Oh my God. Julius! Wow, wow, wow. But it's clear that there are others in b and inner beehive that go beyond their job description and truly care about their bosses. What do you think?